I guess I'm saying that because women are like, oh, I don't know how to build many women. I don't know how to do this. Neither mm-hmm. did I. And this is what you end up when you don't know how to do it. You something functional and it works and it's not breaking. It, Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, you know, someone wrote in a suggestion about a video I should shoot. People do that all the time, and I'm really grateful they do. And someone suggested that I go back through all my old videos and make a best of. And uh, I thought that idea was a great one. It was really time consuming. So we did went ahead and did that and put together a best of beds and bathrooms and kitchens and just creative, unique ideas that I think that you will enjoy. So that's what today's video is. I hope you enjoy it. You get something out of it. You like the people's creativity uh, and remind, uh, reminded seeing those folks and maybe go back and watch their videos again because what we found a lot was the creative people had, you know, they had really creative beds and bathrooms and kitchens and they had done just creative things. So those are videos to go check out. So let's watch those videos now. This is actually my nightstand. Um, basically it's got storage on the side, so then you can also have storage here too. So it's just, again, another place to tuck away. I'm mm -hmm. pretty darn organized. Um, one of my favorite pieces, is my pull-out pantry. This, for those of you who have done builds yourself, you know nothing's square in here. So it's actually got a 13-inch track on the top and a 22-inch track on the bottom. It took me a week to design and build this. Before I left home and went to my dad's, I decided all the stuff I wanted to bring. I went into the bathroom and I said, okay, what, what do I want to have? And I made boxes. And so we built actually the cabinets to fit these boxes. So mm -hmm. everything was organized and ready to go. Mm -hmm. This is my office. And what I did inside of here is I put uh, mag or uh, steel and so they're magnetic. So you're able to just take whatever you collect along the way and put it and hide it away rather than having it cluttery. Brilliant. Then I built uh, some cabinets in here and um, you know, I used to do a lot of construction. I, I still do some, but I've learned to use small bins um, because I can keep stuff very organized. And so I got different size bins with different things in it. Right. And I think one of the tricks to traveling in a very small space is you have to be extremely organized. Yeah. All my bathroom supplies are right in here. Uh -huh. My first aid stuff, everything I need to clean up, brush my teeth. Um, all in there. I keep all my my underwear and socks in this bin. And the other trick is I've got a full set of winter clothes in here, and I put them in duffel bags mm -hmm. and stuff them instead right. of in bins because you can stuff them tight, and you can get a lot more stuff in. So uh, I noticed you have uh, three standard uh, boxes. Yes. And tell us about them. All right, so uh, we all have a challenge needing storage. So for me, it made sense to utilize any dead spots or areas on the van outside that I could utilize and make storage. So with the rack that I made for my solar panels, I created and downsized a common toolbox that was bought at uh, you know a hardware store. These boxes were $65 a piece online. I was blown away on how cheap they were. And the original advent was is that they're made for under, under chassis trucks, okay? So they go under like flatbed trucks. I have enough room back here that it, to me this was a dead spot. And, and like I said, I didn't want to waste any room. So this was a perfect place to mount uh, storage boxes. So. Yeah, I got plenty of storage, the work, play, work table, I carry whatever I feel is important. Uh, I can lock them. I bolted them straight through the inside of the door and I used uh, grade five bolts for strength. And as long as you don't put too much weight in these, the risk of damaging your door and your hinges is gonna be minimal in my opinion. But this is very big because it's where the um, your footwell was. So uh, 
If you can zoom in, you can see that he's got his battery here. And what to do with a spare, you gotta have a spare. So it was easier just to leave it here, but my friend did find there was a fair amount of storage to use on the sides. So next, uh, again, this is gonna be the foot well here, and so that's gonna be a lot of space, and it just pops up, and then you have space under here, and then all this space underneath there. You can see my friend has got a, a little box that he's storing stuff in. So again, just you lift that out, and then uh, this one lifts out, and all that space, man, that is just an enormous amount of room. You can see there's a lot. So this is the kind of thing my friend's going to use. These kind of like fabric, so they weigh nothing, they organize, and, and he can get quite a few of them in here, and they just pop in and slide out of the way, and then you got good organization, and, and, good, and, and zero weight. I mean, that thing weighed nothing, it's just fabric. Of course, with a small space, you've got to really organize. So everything fits under here, and it's easily reached. You saw how easily I reached down here and grabbed this. But it's all organized in little containers, so it stays clean. And then both of these pop up. And that's a lot of stuff, you know. I mean, that's good organization, super easy to access. And um, right there. Then you've built a, a large shelf unit. Yes, three shelves. Very simple. Again, it was just extra wood that was laying around at the homestead. And I built it myself, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't have any plans for it. I just kind of put it together. And as I was putting it together, I realized I needed more pieces to it. So, um like to support, like a double support for the end. I, I guess I'm saying that because women are like, oh, I don't know how to build, many women. I don't know how to do this, neither mm -hmm. did I, and this is what you end up when you don't know how to do it. You Something functional and it works and it's not breaking and it holds lots of food. Lots of food. Lots of food, all my cooking stuff, my little library, all my bath stuff. Um, you know, it's actually more space than I need. Okay, so this side is my everything. This is everything I own. Um, and I actually had a s small storage unit when I started out, but I went back to Texas in the spring and got rid of everything. This, so this is it. Uh, the, you know, toiletries, clothes, dog food, uh, kitchen, um, it just uh, some more clothes and pajamas, all my maps and everything. So that, other than what I have under the bed, is my earthly possessions and I love it. It's so simple. And then this is just high enough to clear the wheel well. And I have water underneath here, more water in the back and then and some snacks and stuff in my shoes. Right, just more story. So you didn't waste all this space, which would have been wasted anyway. Right. This is for all your viewers out there. These are two things, some things that are just absolutely critical in a van. You have such limited space. Use vertical space. Yes. She's using it right to the ceiling. Yeah organization yeah everything has a drawer you know where it is you put it away yeah as soon and and uh each drawer has its own thing um i tilted this cabinet for I see two, that. two reasons um it's still deep enough to accommodate these bins oh right you and built them around your plastic bins yeah and i didn't want the bins sticking out i just don't that would drive me nuts i wouldn't be able to live with it and, and flopping around and this side i hang clothes in uh-huh really nice and uh um the, of course it's the same down here i got a little bit of key litter and a couple other things down there uh-huh just nice really nice organization they're actually drawer fronts that's my uh, pantry there this is where everything happens Oh, wow, that is really nice. It's only about 8, 10 inches. So you'll notice a 1950s Hoosier cabinet that we came up with. We restored it, found it at a yard sale. Um, the only modification we really had to make to it was to take the rolling casters off the bottom and it fit perfect. So that was kind of nice. And what's functional about it is it also serves wow. as a table. Our extra cabinets... Super simple. It's a bookshelf. It's a bookshelf. And it's on sliders. Yeah. And it just fits and tucks nicely into the wall. Super easy storage and 
convenient and out of the way. It's hinged so that you can lift it up. Our water tanks are under there, plus some extra storage, winter clothes and whatnot. We can swap out. A little extra storage on the side, full closet. Always, oh yeah, lots of um, lots of closets. It's a simple everywhere. design build where you just little drawers go in and plenty of room. Come on in. We've we've got uh, our couches here, and we built these a little bit bigger. As you can see, if I were to sit down here, they're a little bit higher than what normal people would say as a couch. For the pure reason, if you look over here, we left this open for you guys. It's got a great amount of storage. Wow, a huge amount. Yeah, so this is like our root cellar, if you want to call it that. Yeah, that's a very good idea. So we got this, and look how check out how cool these drawers are. That is amazing. All separated that our mason jars and everything can fit into. Solid. Just work around them. <laughs> yep, work around them. Insulate them so that you don't hear uh, the noise as much. But really, there's a lot of holes that happen in the wheel wells. Um, like in this back corner, for example, I think there was probably almost a, a foot. Lots of storage under there. Lots of storage. Yep, all of our clothes. And then there's actually a garage behind there. Um, the cabinets, we had picked up the van and, and we just went straight to the, the, we call it the Restore Habitat for Humanity. It's like a Goodwill store for contractors. So all of the cabinetry you see cost us $80. Oh my goodness, that's just um, incredible. This was actually made to go on top and it had wine um, glass slats in it. But I, I had knew, in the store I had pictured it, just like, like you see it, that I would put that on the bottom, put this on the top. So basically, this is our wardrobe. One Anne has one side, I have the other. This slides out. Um, oh, this, it's on a slide, so it just yeah, comes out. Yeah, it just slides out. If I didn't show you this, Anne would be really upset. This is her favorite part. So there's her spice rack. There's our medicine cabinet. And storage. And storage and back, all, oh, all, all medicine, all first aid type stuff. Um, yeah, so all of these cabinets were eighty dollars. So this is the other uh, shelf unit that you got at the. Yeah, uh, yeah. This habitat. is actually the bottom of this. Well, so that would have been in a house. This would have been yeah. floor to ceiling, and yeah. of course, the floor to ceiling in a van is pretty low. Is low. <laughs> so I, I cut, cut that off. So we had added shelf uh, utensils under here. This is the kitchen. The, uh, I don't know, junk drawer, I guess, flashlights, batteries, that Always type of stuff. More stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you had it. Some really creative ideas. It took us a long time to watch all the videos and find the best of them, but it was worth it, I think. I hope you thought it was worth it. If you did, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. I have classes now for people who are brand new to the road and who really need everything.